Well, there's a growing body of evidence that points to sleep duration as a risk factor in chronic physical and psychological disorders. Just last week, a study published in the journal Nature Medicine found that having deeper sleep and REM sleep led to a lower chance of cardiometabolic disease. It also concluded that the more irregular your sleep, the higher the risk of conditions such as elevated cholesterol, obesity, major depressive disorders and hypertension. And all the while, our natural internal clockwork is being derailed. Whether we're asleep or whether we're awake naturally depends on our circadian rhythm, a 24-hour pattern linked to biological clocks that researchers say are central to the sleep crisis facing the modern world. They've zeroed in on the master clock in the brain that's called the suprachiasmatic nucleus or the SCN. It's well established that health and nutrition influence the function of the SCN. But most important is the role played by natural light and darkness. The SCN uses information it receives from the retina to make adjustments to our circadian clock. So any disruption to the data incoming not only knocks our sleep patterns off course, but can lead to physiological and mental conditions. In the day, our eyes perceive sunlight and instruct the body to produce cortisol. That's a hormone that helps us stay alert and energized. But as the sun starts to set and night falls, the reduction of light signals the pineal gland in our brains to start producing melatonin. That's a critical hormone that induces feelings of sleepiness and relaxation to help us wind down for the night. But achieving consistent, uninterrupted sleep is, as many of us know, not always straightforward. And there are things that we can do, such as creating an optimum bedroom environment. Thermal environment is one of the most important factors that can affect our biological downtime. Research says the optimal room temperature is a little over 18 degrees Celsius. Too much heat or cold may affect the body temperature, disrupting the sleep cycle. Our body's internal temperature also shifts up and down according to the circadian rhythm. In the run-up to bedtime, the body temperature starts to fall. It will continue dropping over the course of the night until it's at its lowest in the early hours of around 2 to 4 a.m. It will then start to rise about two hours before we wake up and will continue to increase throughout the day, peaking in the early evening. A good option might also be having lights with adjustable settings to control the intensity, particularly as we wind down for the night. Or keeping bedroom lights as low as possible before heading to bed could be a key factor to having a good night's rest. Hues of red, orange and yellow are said to be better for preparing the mind and body for sleep as they correspond to a setting sun and may help to signal to the body that it's time to sleep. Blackout curtains or eye masks to block out light from outside can also help improve the quality of sleep. And with most of our lives intertwined with technology, exposure to artificial light is often inevitable and usually unhelpful. The blue light on display screens suppresses the body's release of melatonin, so disengaging will help you nod off. Electronics in the room should also be turned to silent or switched off. Earplugs are a viable option to reduce noise levels as well. And then there are physical features of the room itself. The secret to a good night's sleep could lie in your bedroom's color palette. This includes gentle blues associated with calm and relaxation, pastel greens which can bring tranquility of nature associated with renewal and rest, a light pink which can promote feelings of comfort and warmth, as well as beige and white that are gentle on the eyes. It's no surprise that a quiet bedroom is better for sleep than a loud one. Noise pollution is a growing issue, particularly in cities that can cause sleep fragmentation. Or even at low levels, noise can cause you to shift to a lighter sleep stage or wake up momentarily. So some tips here to help limit noise in your bedroom. Soundproofing your windows and thick curtains to lessen outside and in-house noise. In cities like Singapore, which are awash with light and noise, researchers have detected an elevated rate of sleeplessness, and the medical fraternity has voiced concerns about this condition. 